Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. In the last Grandstream UCM video, we set up the base configuration for our UCM. We changed it from router mode to switch mode. We changed the password. We created some extensions. We haven't really explored it too much, but in this video what we're going to do is we're going to make a backup and then we're going to upgrade the firmware. That's the next step, what we want to do. And we're taking these baby steps so that you can play around and you can have a good experience with this. We don't want you to have a bad experience. And a lot of times when people have a bad experience, it's maybe because we were moving too fast and we didn't check something out. So in the next video, that's when we're going to explore all the options of an extension and join a phone. We're also going to plug the phone in and I'm going to show you about LLDP and about how we can auto configure the voice VLAN and things like that. That's in the next grand stream video. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to the UCM. We're going to see which version of firmware we're on, and then we're going to upgrade the firmware after we make a backup. So here's the UCM 6204 that we set up our base configuration on. It's actually sitting back here behind me. We're going to log into it. We're going to take a look at the firmware version. Then we're going to go out to the Grandstream site. We're going to see what the newest firmware version is, if there's any prereqs, and then make a backup and upgrade. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in as the admin user, and that's also going to change before we put this into production. That's something else that's on the roadmap. So we're getting there. Last time we ran that wizard. Now what we're going to do, under the system status, we're going to go to system information. Under the version information, you can see that our base version is 1.0.15.16. So if you go over to firmware.grandstream.com, it's actually going to redirect you to this site. Right here at the very top, important security bulletin concerning the UCM series IPPBX. And it talks about if you're on a version prior to the .14.24 or .15.14 that you need to upgrade because there was a security concern. Now they have addressed it and they tell you this here. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. Under IPPBX Appliance, we see that the latest release for the 6200 series is 1.0.16.20. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And you can even see back here it, it said, you know, there's some security improvements. So back on this page, here are the release notes. And you always want to read the release notes. A lot of people will zoom through this and then something doesn't work. Read the release notes. Grandstream puts them here for your benefit. So... Always back up your data, including configuration, prompts, custom, everything, just in case something would happen. They want you to have a backup of that. Now, our system is pretty bare, and we don't have an off-site or an SFTP backup set up yet, so we're going to do a local backup, and you'll see that when we get over there. For UCM 6000 series on .15.x or .16.x, we can upgrade directly to 16.20. So since we're on the 15 release, we're going to be able to automatically upgrade directly to 16.20. Now, if we were on a firmware version before the 15 release, we would have to upgrade to the 15.16 first, then to the 16.20. So there's an upgrade path that you have to do. So if your UCM came with 1.0.14.24 or below, first you have to upgrade to 15.16, then you can upgrade to 16.20. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to download this. It's going to take a second. It's about an 80 megabyte file. And that should be done anytime. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop back over to the UCM. We are going to now go down to the maintenance section. And under maintenance, we have upgrade and we have backup. So we're going to click on backup. And if we do a regular backup file, this is where we can uh, set up an SFTP server and we can back up all the things. That's not what we're doing. Today we are going to do a regular backup because we don't have anything special besides our base configuration. So we're going to create a backup, and it is a local backup, and I'm going to call this um, lab U UCM6204, and it is a local backup. Now, if I try to select all of these things, you're going to see this fail because a local backup can only back up the config file. So if I select all and I click back up, I'm going to get an error. Here it is. I can only back up the config file. So I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to click config file and I'm going to hit backup. 
it's going to process the backup and then I'm going to uh, download the backup. So here it is, <clears throat> excuse me, it's right here. It is four megabytes and we can do a couple things. We can restore to this backup. Now it's stored locally. We can delete it or we can download it. I'm going to download it and take it off of the machine. So now I have successfully downloaded that backup. This has all of our extensions, username, password, how the uh, network is configured, the whole enchilada. So once we start building this out, I'll show you how to set up an FTP server and do these regular backups. So now we're going to go over to upgrade. And we can do a, uh, a couple different um, upgrade techniques. We can do an upgrade over HTTP, TFTP, or HTTPS. I am going to upload a file instead of using the other methods. You can do the other. So we've got our file downloaded, but before we can actually upload it this way, what we've got to do is extract it. So we're going to bring up our download folder, and we are going to extract the bin file to this folder. And this is what we're going to upload to the UCM. So we're going to do choose file to upload. Then we're going to go to the release UCM here. We're going to select the bin file. It's now going to upload this to the UCM and upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause this video and we're going to be right back. Okay, device is upgraded su successfully. Do you want to restart the device now to apply the changes? So we're going to click OK. Don't know if you can hear that, but the fan just kicked up, so it's rebooting already. And it says, please wait for two minutes, which is a very specific time, and log in again. So we're going to wait two minutes. I'm actually going to pause the video. We're going to wait two minutes, and we're going to log in again. Be right back. So I waited exactly two minutes, and the device came right, right up. I took all the stuff after the 8089 out, and we're going to be able to log into this now. So now if we come over here to system information, we can see that our base is 1.0.16.20. So we are now on the latest release and we are ready for that next video where we're going to explore the extensions and we're going to put a phone on there and we'll probably put a couple phones on there so we can make calls. We've got a cordless phone we're going to put on there and we've got a regular phone. But that's it for this video. So if you've got a UCM, make sure you make a backup. Make sure that you are on the latest security release, the latest firmware release. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment, share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, if you need consulting for voice over IP or networking, security, best practices, all that stuff, you can go to h5llc.com down there, fill out the contact form, and somebody will get in touch with you. We have a Discord channel. Charlie is our admin. You can The Discord link is down there. We also have an Amazon shop where we feature everything uh, that we show in the videos here. So once again, I want to thank you for being here, and we'll see you in the next video.